Are you a drum set player considering a career in music and want to know if going to college is the right path for you? Whether you're a high school student or someone looking to make a career change, I'll discuss the pros and cons of going to college for music based on my personal experience of going to two different schools. If your plan is to become a performer, absolutely not. In my 24 years of playing professionally, I've never gotten a gig because of my music degree. I've played for movies, TV shows, and video games, and I can't think of a time when my degree was ever brought up at all. We're gonna get into what is really important to have a successful career in music in a little bit, but having a formal education to become a performer, that's not something that you need. This depends on the school and the type of school that you go to. Now I can share my experience, but please keep doing your research and see how others felt about the schools that they attended. The two schools I went to were Musicians Institute and Cal State University Long Beach. MI was a lot more career focused. It had a lot of lessons that specifically applied to playing professionally. One of the most helpful things I had to do were called live playing workshops. Every week we were required to do at least one of these LPWs. The process included signing up a week in advance, learning a song in a specific genre, getting randomly assigned to a group minutes before the performance, and then having one opportunity to perform the song without any prior rehearsal with these people. Playing in ensembles offers a lot of lessons from listening to others to fit in as a whole to making notes in your music when there's a change. I can't tell you how many times I've been complimented for the simple act of making a note on my music. And you will most likely have to be in multiple ensembles with different players, conductors, and instrumentation. All that variety will help you be a more flexible player. It's an awful lesson, but doing a lot of work for no pay is a lesson in how not to do business. Ensembles counted for one unit. When you had to be there for multiple hours for rehearsals, practice that music on your own, and make time for concerts. The music business is full of people wanting you to give your time for free. I'm not saying it's never worth it, but be very careful if you choose to accept these types of gigs. College in general helps teach you time management, juggling multiple ensembles, lessons, possible general ed classes, and all the other things in your life. As a working musician, you will need to wear multiple hats and divide your time in those different areas to be able to make a living. Arguably, the most popular choices for a degree in music are education and performance. If you want to be a teacher, K-12, through you're going to need that degree and a teaching credential. And if you want to teach at a college, you're going to need a master's or higher. To perform, a degree is not something people care about. You may find another path that interests you, such as conducting or music therapy, but that's a video for another time. Absolutely. When it comes to learning the skills that you need to become proficient at your instrument, you can totally learn all of that through self-study and private lessons. You might even progress faster because private lessons are customized just for you and you have your teacher's full attention. The tricky part about lessons and self-study for some folks is staying motivated to practice. Since most lessons happen once a week, there are six days where you might get distracted or put things off. If you are self-motivated, you can get pretty far with self-study, especially with all the free resources out there. And let me know what your favorite free resource is. What are you guys watching? Let me know, I wanna check it out. The biggest advantage that comes with college is being around like-minded people every day. For connections, exchange of ideas, social pressure to keep up with everyone, and experience playing with different people. The most important thing you can do, no matter what school you go to, is make meaningful connections. While you can get gigs by auditioning and maybe even score an awesome gig that way, those opportunities don't last forever. When that gig is over, you'll have to find more work. Having connections with others in your field will make it easier to find more opportunities. I tell you this because I feel like this is where I failed at MI and Cal State Long Beach. At MI, I was highly focused. If I wasn't in the classroom, I would be in the practice room. I didn't take time to just hang out and I didn't really form friendships at MI. I was not a big fan of the program at Cal State Long Beach. 
After class, I would head straight home and usually dedicate as little time as possible to practicing, usually the day of my lesson. This was definitely to my disadvantage, as getting gigs through connections is the most common way I secure work. Thankfully, later on, I made connections in the Taiko community. But if I had to do it over, I would spend a little less time in the practice room and more time getting to know people. So whether you choose school or not, go out there and make friends. And don't be fake about it. Don't do it just to make connections. Find some people that you genuinely connect with. There's one crucial thing that you need to do to increase your chances of getting gigs, even before you make these connections. Check out the next video to see what that is.